courage is uh, uh, definitely uh, something I would use to uh, define accountability, having the courage to be responsible for what you've promised that you're going to say or do, um, making sure you hold others to be responsible for what they've said they're going to say or do. And sometimes it's making sure that you um, are taking responsibility for what your your organization has promised to your customers. So, you know, holding yourself accountable or a company can hold itself accountable to make sure it follows through on the values or the promise it's made to, to its clients or customers. So a lot of this goes back to, you know, responsibility and, um, and uh, follow through. And then when you start talking about that, you start getting into these ideas of integrity, uh, trust, credibility. So these are, these are all connected, but it's such a, a basic building block, I think, of everything in life, whether it's relationships with, uh, you know, in a, in a marriage, with your kids, your family, your friends, um, or in a professional sense. Uh, but responsibility and courage for me come up as two big words I think about. And um, you know, it's like, like a lot of things. Sometimes people say, well, what? I'm not sure what that is. Well, I know it when I see it. And uh, I've worked for leaders and organizations that have had high accountability. And uh, it's it's a lot clearer to me that um, they it's you're walking the walk. You're going to do what you say you're going to do. And uh, we all know people who we know who are highly accountable. We trust what they're going to say, and we know that they're going to follow up when we make a promise, and we tend to follow through uh, um, on a more consistent basis when we work with people like that. If this culture clip helped you, hit that like button below, and we'll see you in the next clip.